There's no other, there's no other like you. You are holy, you are holy. You are holy like no other. You are holy. my mind a week or so ago this story my son Samuel came into my office area I was living in a house that was um, was old and kind of slanted to the east <laughs> and I remember uh, every once in a while I have to take my keyboard racks out and I have to just kind of find all the loose screws and tighten up the screws and lots of times there's magnetic things in there so the screws get loose and they fall in you know when you travel on airlines and such and so every once in a while I have to tear these things apart and try to find the screws and so I had three or four of these keyboard racks laid out and they're all open kind of fixing them up And my son, he, Samuel, he's, he's eight and a half now, but he came running in. He was, you know, maybe three or four. He comes running in with his new plastic tools that he got. He said, I help you, Daddy. I help you, Daddy. He's got his plastic tools in his hands. I help you, Daddy. And he comes walking, and I said, all right, Sammy, why don't you sit right here and uh, hold the screws for me so he put them in his hands he says okay daddy and he's got these screws in his hand and I go back to work and just a few seconds later I I hear those screws and they just 
they go flying to the east. You know what I mean? And I kept hearing him. He kept saying it over and over. I help you, Daddy. I help you, Daddy. I help you, Daddy. So I kept working on this. And I have this keyboard rack called the Trinity Rack. It's by Korg. I thought every worship, every worshiper needs to have a rack named Trinity. You know what I mean? And uh, so I'm working on this one rack over here and I hear this this pounding I help you daddy I help you daddy and I turn around and Samuel's jumping up and down on my trinity rack screaming I help you daddy I help you daddy I help you daddy anyway he was so cute I just hugged him you know and I think I, I don't I don't quite remember I, I, I may have been going to like Kelowna British Columbia or some, I, I was going somewhere the next day, and I'm on the plane, and I'm sitting on the tarmac at the airport, and I'm looking out the window, and I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, you know, Jason, you do know that you don't really help me, right? And he brought my mind back to that, that picture of my son jumping on that, that Trinity rack. And he said, you know, you know you don't really help me, right? And all of a sudden I said, yeah, I know. I probably don't help you that much. You got, you got your theology degree and seminary and all that stuff. And y'all jump on my trinity all the time. But see, Jason... That's not what I love about you. It's not whether you help me or not. What I love about you is exactly what you love about your son. What I love about you is that you want to help me. And the difference between the sons and daughters of a living God being religious and I'm not talking about pure and undefiled religion just being religious the sons and daughters of a living God they don't know if they're helping they don't care if they're helping and they don't think they're helping They just want to help. They just want to help. And I remember the spirit of the living God saying to me, Jason, as long as you don't lose the desire to help me, you'll always be on the right track. But when you start thinking you're helping me, you're already off the track. 